YouTube, man. Y'all know this. It it's your boy Status Steezo coming back with another fire vlog. And as y'all know, and if y'all follow me on social media, we finally got the exhaust done, man. Hey, check out these welds, man. Is it even focusing, man? Look at them nickels of dimes. Hey, boy, this is some. Oh, and look at that. That's some weld porn for you. And I welded my O2 bong on there too. Daddy. Everything's V band. Yeah, look at those welds. So this will go. See, we got the V band here. This will go to the turbo. <laughs> Let's get this this hood pop in. This one here is for the, the hot side. We just chopped all this up. So we can pre-fit all that to get that mocked up. But as long as we got the, the exhaust all cut up, we ready to go. Oh yeah, here we go. Let's get this up out of here. I put this down to keep stuff from going inside the turbo. And on the, we did get the QA1 um, uppers to fit. What I end up having to do is take these cheap uh, knuckles out to give me more room to, to raise up the steering knuckle to get in there. So after that, after I took those out, the car actually still sits at the same height, so. That's crazy by removing them two steering knuckles down there. It's still fitted, so. I don't know, y'all. It worked without it. I guess we're good. So let's go ahead and get this exhaust bolted on real quick. I got it coming out of here. Straight down, and it's going to bullhorn out the side. Jeez, what? I don't know how good this exhaust looks. band as well now I'm about to put this O2 sensor on put a little anti-seize on there all right I had somebody calling my phone so I had to uh, turn off a recording but we do got the exhaust in. It's a little closer to here. I could shorten this up like that, but I'ma just, I'ma wrap all that. And I got some wires down there that look kinda a little close. So I'm just get all this heat wrap. But for now, we just wanna start it up. Y'all see where we got the exhaust shooting out the side. Y'all see how that thing look from the front. We gonna hook some up to the frame right here. Since it ain't nothing, there's just a lot of weight that's sitting on here. So we'll hook some up here to at least hold this and give it some type of support. And this the, the hot side, we need to run up here. So we'll just get that and run it up there. And here, so y'all see how tight this is right here. So we just gonna, 90 this off of here down into there. Yeah. Then we got running into the inner cooler. We're gonna be ready to go, y'all. But this is about to be the first time I start the car up, so y'all about to hear it too.
sound better than ever, y'all. And the car is way quieter because it's not under the car no more. It is. Is out the side and we actually going to 45 it off of here I pro i'm probably gonna want to make this a little bit tighter bring the exhaust up but for now this will work but we're gonna bull horn it up man let me know what y'all think man should i leave it just like this or should we bull horn bull horn the exhaust up man i still need to do this side too oh see y'all see them uh y'all see that that number word there what y'all think that means Somebody get in the comments. When you see a part on your car and it got that writing on it, what does that mean? I know what it means. I just want to see what y'all know what it means. But that's the quick drop, bro. Y'all, I really want to cruise the car, but I don't got this hot side hooked up. We just taking our time. Actually, let me show y'all the pieces in the trunk. This the piece right here that goes on the turbo. We just got a tack welded up. That's for test fit. And we'll put it somewhere up in here. We're going to make more cuts, a tighter pie cut, so we can clear some of the stuff in here. Yeah, we have to make way more tighter cuts, man. But this is the process I love with building cars, man. This is building a car, the stuff you get to take your time with and cut and really put together and think about it this just ain't no no plug and play stuff you can just buy off the shelf man y'all see we had to we had to cut stuff up man this this the old they came off the old turbo setup so we're just reusing this that's why we got a whole bunch of old old wells on here so we're just gonna reuse a lot of these pieces chop it up and make it work and um i'm hoping to make whip fest because actually that's right up the street Man, what the hell just kick out of here? All them damn steering knuckles. We don't even need those. But yeah, I'm hoping to make Texas, Texas Wood Fest. And I may not have a top on the car. I really don't care. We can just rock the car down there in Texas without the top. As y'all can see, I still been trying to get the car going. I got all this crap in the damn trunk. My window trim, all this shit over there. But... I'm probably just gonna go down there, man. If the car's running, we get it all tuned up. I'm just taking down there how it is without the top. I don't care how raggedy it looks, as long as the car's running fast. So y'all get in the comments, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the new turbo setup. I remember I was telling y'all, my other turbo setup was just a quick setup. And this is one I was looking forward to building. So y'all just let me know what y'all think.